reason my shoot ran a little long. I actually tried to call you from my cell phone, but it went dead. What else is new? <laughs> no problem, Miss Barrett. We're more than happy to accommodate you. Right. Is Ned here? Uh, no, ma'am. He had a board meeting and he took a commercial flight home. Oh, and he left me the jet? That's very sweet. Actually, we do have one other passenger. Ready? I can stow these up here for you. No, you don't need to do that, Orson. I'm going to get off. Is there a problem? Well, it's just better this way, trust me. Do you know anything about the commercial flights this evening? Friday is a heavy commuter night. There's a good chance they're booked. Some of us have people waiting for them? <laughs> I've changed my mind. I'll stay. We have excellent flying conditions up to Port Charles this evening, but nonetheless the FAA does require I review our safety procedures. There's two emergency exits in the cabin, one on each side. Should we need them, simply turn the handle in the direction of the red arrow and the doors will spring open. I made an interesting discovery the other day. Do you want to know what it is? No. Yeah. Well, the snow is melting at my house, and, you know, I'm trying to change my image a little bit, get a little domestic, so I thought that I would plant this garden outside my cottage. So I go back there to check it out, and guess what I found? Trees? Cigarette butts, no doubt, left by the guys you have watching my house. Lots of people smoke. They can be from anyone. So, are, are you uh, are you watching Robin, or are you still spying on me for some? I have someone watching the house to make sure no one gets kidnapped. Oh, so Robin. Yeah. Well, that makes sense, considering the little delivery that I got at my house this morning. What? Baby clothes. Robin was sleeping, so I signed for him. Now, let me just see if I have this figured out correctly. Um, Carly's gone under lock and key, so you're kind of grooming Robin to be Michael's new mommy? What's going on between Robin and me is none of your business. Sorry for the bounce, folks. Seems to be a little unforeseen turbulence ahead. I'm going to try to get around it, but just in case, stay seated and keep that safety belt nice and snug. I apologize for the bumpy ride. We've flown into a little clear air turbulence. It comes up suddenly with no warning. We'll be out of it soon, but until further notice, please remain in your seats with seat belts fastened. Wow, that was not little. We'll be okay. Well, we better be, because dying with you would be a little too ironic for me. And no one's gonna die, Brenda. Right, yeah. Well, Robin could if you don't leave her alone. Do not start. You know, this baby thing is actually very brilliant of you, because you know that Robin couldn't resist a precious little innocent baby trapped Michael is life. none of your business. Well, Robin's my business, all right? See, I know this whole game. This is the same stupid game that Sonny played with me for so long. Seducing me into falling in love with him, knowing that there's no way I can ever really be with him in the end. And then you know what I did? I went, and I built my life back, and I was happy. And then he came back and tried to do it to me again. Is there some kind of time limit on this game you play, or do you just wait until there's nothing left of her? Why do you do this? Insulting me won't change anything. Because I want Robin to have a better life than me. You're so exactly like Sonny. I mean, you guys think that you're some big protectors of women, and you know what? You're not. Your form of abuse is worse than anything because you put people's lives in danger every day. And I want better for Robin. Can't you understand that? Well, Robin's not you. Don't ever compare yourself to her again. You comparing yourself to Robin. You wore a wire on Sonny. You tried to send him to prison. Robin would never, ever do something like that. She couldn't handle my life. She told me to my face. She didn't pretend to accept it and then betray me. She didn't whine and cry and drive me crazy. She doesn't need your help, Brenda, because she does not lie. I trust her. If she wants me to stay away, I will. Robin is not the one who I'm worrying about uh, trusting. You are the exact opposite of her in every way, and why she's friends with you makes no sense to me. But you comparing you and Sonny to Robin and me takes something away from Robin, and I won't let you do that. Oh, really? What are you afraid? She's not going to buy your act anymore? I don't have an act. 
That's for people like you who spend all their time trying to figure out who they are and what they do don't like it very much. Where are you going? I'm gonna have him land this plane so I don't have to listen to you anymore. Just turbulence, not engine trouble. I've got nothing but green lights on the instrument panel, so there's nothing to do but hang on for the ride. That's ah, starting to ease a little now. What? What are you doing? Checking the exits. Well, you can go ahead and exit. I'm staying right here. We go down. We we're not going down. Head. The pilot said that we're going to stop. Yeah, we will, one way or the other. Start these up a little bit. Thank you for making everything as scary as possible. Remind me next time not to pack you. situation is imminent. We have lost radio contact and diverged from our flight plan, but there are signal flares here in the cockpit. Flotation devices are stowed under the... What happened? Just get this down. That's all that matters. We're going to make it through this, Brenda. No, we're not. We'll inform you as soon as any information comes in. Thank you. Trouble? I'm afraid so. I came down here to meet the ELQ jet, and he just informed me that uh, the jet is missing. That it just dropped off the radar moments ago. Uh, look, my pilot tells me there's a real witch's spirit to the south. You know, you guys probably flying around it. And a good storm can turn a radar path into a house of mirrors. Well, according to the tower, the pilot didn't mention anything about a storm. Just heavy turbulence. Like hitting a brick wall is how he described it. Then what? That's when they lost radio contact. I see. Uh, who's aboard, Edward? No. Jason and Brenda. You're the aviation expert. What can we do? There's plenty we can do. Uh, when did the aircraft uh, disappear from radar? Just minutes ago. Any word on the aircraft's last longitude or latitude? I don't know. He didn't say anything to me. He might have it, though. Hey, I'm delaying takeoff. I need your help. Brenda and Jason Morgan are on an ELQ jet from Manhattan, and it sounds like they may have hit clear air turbulence. They may have gone down. Where are you now? I'm at the airport. Right, I'm on it. Looks like I won't be crushing your birthday party after all. Quartermains will be crushed. If that's where you're heading, you may find them in no mood for visitors. That was Jack's at PC Airport. The ELQ jet has disappeared. With Walker and Brenda on board. Oh no. Uh, no need to worry yet. The plane could still be in the air. And even if it isn't, I've walked away from worse. I'll try to remember that. You haven't said a word. Is there something wrong? Actually, um, I have some bad news. Is it Lucas? No, Monica, it's not my child. It's yours. Oh, God. It's, um, uh, it's Jason. Oh, uh, Well, the, um, the ELQ jet coming back from Manhattan has had some trouble. I, I don't have any details yet, and it might even be okay by now, but um, Jason and Brenda were on the plane. Brenda, too? Yes, I'm afraid so. Yeah. Hello? Oh, oh yes, Ned. We, we just heard. What more do you know? They say no sign of the plane. Not in the air or on the ground. Can this computer help? Not the computer. What? The people on the other end of it. Any word from the explorers? Just posted an SOS on the bulletin board. 
Uh, how's Sri Lanka? I took care of it on the way over. And I checked it with Sam. Bio Sam. Took an infrared of the area, but didn't see a damn thing. But GPS came up with this from the planet before it disappeared. I can't read your bloody handwriting, Jerry. What is this, a, a three or a two or what? Two. They were at 28,000 feet and beginning their descent. They're almost here. Well, it was nice of Sam to give it a shot. What are we talking about here? Who's Sam? He's a uh, friend of the family at the Johnson Space Center. He's on a first-name basis with half the satellites in orbit, and what he doesn't know, he can find out real fast. By the way, Sam said that there were no other reports of clear air turbulence in the Northeast. So they were just lucky, huh? And clear air is what, exactly? It's only a pilot's worst nightmare. The granddad of all downdrafts. You don't know it's there until you're in it. And then it's like going over a waterfall. And so, the plane is down? Well, you can drop below the air mass and regain control if you can get the altitude. Yeah, and if you're lucky. Jason, come on. Jason, wake up! because there's water coming in the door over there. Come on. I want you. You okay? Yeah. Come on. Let me get this off. No, 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 right. no, 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 no. I'll take care of that. Look. Uh, you gotta have the cockpit in it and get the flares. We need that, a flashlight, and the life jacket. Okay. All right. Whoa, whoa, wait. No, I don't think we should go. No, no, we have to get out of here right now. Just do what I tell Brandon, you, okay? Don't give me orders. You want to be in charge or you want to be alive? All right, I'm gonna go to the cockpit. Uh, Flares? I yes, I heard what you said. Dead. Did you get the flares? Yes, do they look like dynamite? Yes, that's it. Get them out. Right here. I'm taking the whole no, bag. No, we have with to us. swim. 
Brenda, we don't know how far you can't take There's luggage. There's stuff in this bag that Forget we need. Forget the bag, okay? Forget the bag! Okay. Just help me with my leg, please! Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay, again. Put something behind it this time. Please. Okay. <laughs> you want it? How is it? It's working. Can you swim? Better than you. Okay. Look, this is your chance to prove it, okay? I'm gonna open the door. And let the water in? That's the idea. We get the pressure the same on both sides. We open the door and we swim out and we head up to the surface. Yeah. Take a big breath. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. okay, now what I want you to do on the count of three, take a deep breath and hold it for as long as it takes. Okay? One, two, three! Air accidents anywhere in the state. Well, a crash in Vermont and Canada wouldn't be much of an improvement. They must be down by now, don't you think? Well, unless they're flying on fumes. So how do we proceed? If there's no word by morning, we'll start a ground search. Where? We'll start from the plane's last reported position and search within a five-mile radius. If nothing turns up, we increase the radius by another five miles and so on. Wait, but that jet covers five miles every time you blink. Shouldn't we start now? On, on a moonless night? No, that's not possible. What about the explorers? Oh, I'd rather trust professionals than that bunch of seat-of-the-pants cowboys. We've alerted airports here and in Canada, and of course, we will inform you yeah, as soon as new information, information comes in. I'm sure you will. All right, thank you. All right. See to the bank cowboys, eh? They don't look like they've long been out of short pants themselves. Who are these explorers? They grab bag of pilots to search and rescue for the sheer adventure of it. Who aren't above taking risks, like searching at night. Some of them are up in the air already, and they've been reporting into the website. Good. Good. Well, that'll, that's something I can tell my family.